gestational parent, non-birthing parent, I have something to tell you. What is it, obama -lee? I invited someone over tonight for our nightly gluten-free supper. And what is their name? Charles. And is Charles your gender-fluid, non-monogamous associate? Do you mean boyfriend? Ah, uh, you're supposed to say them friend. I'm so triggered. Ah. Oh, that must be Charles now. Come in. Hello, my name is Charles. Charles Chuck Norris Jr. And I love freedom. Ah, now I'm triggered. Freedom is so offensive. He's not woke enough for us. Don't you mean they's not woke enough? That's it. You're canceled. Ah! This satire is so good. I am literally going to change my politics because of it. Parents, please, you're embarrassing me in front of my b- Don't say it. My non-gendered romantic colleague. Thank you. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Mr. and Mrs. Um, Chuck, we talked about this. I mean, they stir and they says, Wokeman. Finally, some satire for us guys. So, what will we be eating tonight? Why don't you come in the dining room and take a look? Um, er, is there anything else here besides soy to eat? Oh, are you allergic? I can run out and get you something. That would be great. At Starbucks. Um, I guess I'll just have the soy. Hello, uh, Mr. Obama, are you seeing this? This show called The Wokemans? It's destroying the woke agenda with biting satire. We need it canceled. I'll see what I can do. Hmm, Obama's voice sounded a little weird. So, Chuck, what are you studying at Liberal U? Underwater basket weaving, pretentious French poetry, or communism? Actually, instead of wasting my time with a useless degree, I have decided to be a patriotic welder. Ah, no, I'm scared of patriotic welders. Why don't you read this book by Obama? It's all about how patriotism is offensive. No, thank you. I prefer to read Boastbusters, a self-published satire novel. No, stop. We hate satire. It's too offensive. The only kind of humor we like is watching woke late-night hosts interview Michelle Obama. So you don't want to hear about the scene in Boast Gusters where the dad character played Chrono Trigger? Trigger? Ah, I'm triggered! Is something wrong, Chuck? You haven't touched your soy. Um, er, I'm not sure if I want to. Come on, eat the soy. Yeah, Chuck, eat the soy. Eat the soy. Eat the soy. Eat the soy. Okay. And that's why I think everyone should wear seat belts. Wow, even? Even small children. Hey, you got any more of this soy? And what do you think about chewing tobacco? You know, dip for guys? I think it should be illegal. You know, obama -Lee, I wasn't sure about this young person at first, but they are really making a good impression. Ready for dessert? Just as long as it's soy-based. <laughs> <laughs> well, obama -Lee, we certainly were wrong about Chuck here. And after watching him eat his soy, I'd like to say one more thing. I'm glad he's your boyfriend. Well, I have one more thing to say, too. Yeah, Obama sucks. Ah! You see, I knew what kind of meal we'd be having, so before I came here, I drank an entire tub of testosterone-packed beef powder. Ha 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 ha. The soy had no effect on me. Obama Lee, after seeing how cringe your family is, I'm dumping you. Yep, more time for gaming. Well, I have one more thing to say to you, too. You know your tub of beef powder? Well, I poured it out because I saw on the label that it contained gluten. So, so what was in that tub I ate? My gluten-free girl food. Oh no, I ate a girl food. Now I'm a cringe liberal. Well. Then I just have one more question. If you're a cringe liberal like us, why did you say Obama sucks? Because I was doing satire. That's it. You're canceled. But I said I was doing satire. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to cancel culture. That's right, I am. Bizarro Obama. You hear me? You can't do cancel culture anymore. And that's a direct order from me, your new boss, Bizarro Obama. Looks like I'm the one who's been canceled by Bizarro Obama. Yeah.
Thanks for watching.